What's going on everybody, this is me Alex, and in today's video we're going to be showing you guys how to install the latest build of Magic Lantern on Canon's 1100D. So let's go right ahead and get started. So there are quite a few things that you're going to need to do before you install. The installation process is actually really easy. All you do is just turn on your camera. You're going to want to make sure that you are in manual mode, but for now we're just going to go ahead and format it. So you want to go ahead and make sure you format. So you're going to scroll over to the first settings option and click on format and click on OK. Then it's going to go ahead and format the card to completely erase the card not to just uh, simply erase the pictures, but this is going to completely erase the card. And then what you're going to do is you want to make sure that you're in manual mode. This is where I made the mistake. You want to make sure that you're in manual mode uh, because that's where you have to go ahead and check for the firmware and change your fu custom functions and make sure that you are in a uh, erased all your custom functions. So you want to go ahead and go to manual exposure. You're going to go ahead and scroll over to the third settings option and you're going to go click on clear all camera settings. Click on OK, and then you're going to also want to clear all the custom functions and click on OK. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and click on the cancel button or go to menu. And you want to make sure that your firmware version is 1.0.5. If it is not 1.0.5, then I highly recommend and I actually, yeah, you have to have the latest firmware, which is 1.0.5 on the, your camera in order for this to work. So make sure you upgrade to that first. I will be doing a video later in the season for that. First thing you want to do, do is unscrew your battery grip if you have one. In this case, I do. So I'm going to go ahead and unscrew that because you have to remove your SD card. So go ahead and remove your SD card by just unscrewing that and uh, popping it out. That should pop out your SD card. But we're going to go ahead and unplug uh, that little cord there because we need, don't need it in the way. You pop your SD card out. And in this case, I have a Transcend 32 gigabyte, 30 megabytes a second, 200 times write speed SD card. So we're going to go ahead and pop this into our computer. We're going to be using our 